welcome to Politicked Off, a show where I ramble about politics with hopes that you understand them a little bit better. This week we'll be discussing the 23 people that are running for president of the United States. Here's a list of them. With 19 Democrats and four Republicans, the race has been a lot. From spiritual leader Marion Williamson to former Massachusetts Governor William Wells, here are all the presidential nominees in alphabetical order and what they stand for. Michael Bennett, he's a Democrat, statistically. He's a Colorado senator. Bennett co-sponsored the Equality Act. Joe Biden, he's a Democrat, former vice president. Biden is currently in a lot of heat due to his son being mentioned in a conversation between Trump and the president of Ukraine. Did you like the years 2008 to 2016? You'll probably be pretty okay with Biden. Cory Booker, Democrat. First African American senator from New Jersey. The Humane Society really, really, really likes him. He's also one of the original co-sponsors of Medicare for All. <sighs> Still going Democrats because there are so many of them. Steve Bullock, Democrat. D Governor of Montana, he really, really likes financial reform to the point where he's sued to the Supreme Court in American Tradition Partnership Incorporated versus Bullock and lost. Did you get it? And lost. Pete Buttigieg, Boot Edge, Egg, Boot Edge, Mayor Pete, Democrat, Mayor of South Bend, Indiana. You probably know him because he's the first major openly gay candidate. But did you know he also served in Afghanistan? Watson and gerrymandering too, which is pretty cool. Julian Castro, Democrat, former Secretary of Housing and Development under Obama. His twin brother is also senator, a senator. He wants to make the first two years of college free and wants universal pre-K. John Delaney. That's John Delaney. That is not, that is John Delaney. John Delaney, Maryland representative. He wants universal health care, but not universal Medicare. Delaney was the first Democrat to announce he was running for president on July 20th, 2017. That was like six months after Trump was president. Delaney, what? Tulsi Gabbard, Democrat, first Hindu congresswoman. She's from Hawaii and a veteran. Uh, she's a self-described anti-interventionist and populist. Kamala Harris, junior senator from California and former attorney general of California. Run to relief is a thing she wants to do, which is kind of cool. Amy Klobacher, Democrat, first Minnesota's first female senator. She also only has four sentences under her Wikipedia policy. So, yeah. Wayne Massam, Democrat, former wide receiver for the Florida State Seminole. He's the former mayor of Myanmar, Florida. And he's never pulled more than 1%. Beto O'Rourke, Texas uh, representative, he's a Democrat, and he's a libertarian. Tim Ryan, Democrat, Ohio representative, uh, loves union rights. And you know what? Guess who's back? Bernie's back. He had a heart attack, but his campaign is the same as it was in 2016. Mark Sanford, our first Republican. And speaking of the GOP, Sanford wants to talk about what it means to be a Republican. He also wants to talk about taxes. Seth Stack, um, Democrat, former Navy Admiral from Pennsylvania who delayed his presidential campaign to help his daughter fight a brain tumor. He holds a 100% approval rating from narrow pro-choice America. Tom Steyer, Sayer, Democrat, billionaire former hedge fund executive who spent millions and millions of dollars on the impeach Trump ad campaign. You know him, you definitely know him. Donald Trump, Republican, current president. I, did you, you know who he is. Elizabeth Warren, Democrat. She's your senator. Warren, whatever you're worried about, Warren has a plan for it. That's what her campaign slogan has, says. She's also taken like 40,000 selfies if that matters to you. Joe Walsh, Republican. Congressman from Illinois who rode the Tea Party Act to the office. Good evening, Mr. Walsh. It's William Weld. If there's one thing Massachusetts loves more than a Democratic senator, it's a Republican governor. Um, Weld was named the most fiscally conservative governor, according to the Cato Institute, at that. Marianne, Wi Marianne Williamson. Oh, Marianne. Go read her Twitter. 
Here are some examples. Ah. Running out of tape. Andrew Yang, Democrat. It's unclear whether or not he committed voter fraud by trying out his universal basic income theory where he gave several families $1,000 a month per year. And that's all. My school running is independence because I don't have time for that. You don't have time for that. We. But please note, this is a very, very basic description of all of these candidates. I highly encourage you to do your own research and form your own opinions on these people because this. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.